Hi guys. Um, I just wanted to tell you about the experiment that I'm doing with the um, experimental worm group on Facebook. Um, stop playing with your worms, Anne. Um, so the premise behind it is that many people say that um, some worms in particular need to have more room to develop. And if you cramp their style and just give them a small amount of space that they will slow down their reproduction um, and stabilize to whatever resources they have available. Um, I always run, obviously, huge bins, so it's not been a problem for me. I've been doing this for about six or seven months, and um, there's always tons, tons of um, cocoons and babies and everybody in between. So what I decided for my experiment was I was going to take my normal bedding, which is leaves, coconut coir, shredded paper, buffer, eggshells, sand, and give them exactly the same thing, only in increments. But with these, to keep everything the same as everybody else, what I'm going to do is I am going to feed them a little bit every single week so that they aren't limited by nutrients. The only thing that would be the limiting factor would be space that they feel is adequate to increase their population. Um, so I'm going to try and keep every sort of resource that they would need to be in excess or definitely as much as they could possibly want and have the only difference being how much space they have to breed in. Okay, that's my whole experiment. Thanks. Something's making me think this might be a three gallon pail instead of a two gallon pail. Well, whatever it is, we're going to do one, two, and three and see what the varying amounts of room have on it. Now, I've already put um, the dolomite, the eggshell, and a little tiny bit of cornmeal, which I do in most of my bins since this is in a basement and it stays about 62 to 65 degrees. My hope is that a little bit of the corn will maybe heat it up a tiny little bit, but not bad enough to hurt anybody. So far it has not. So this isn't really by weight, this is by volume. So that's two, oh, and that is the implement for which I shred my leaves with. Works really awesome too. It's one of those little stand-up kind that just fits inside of like a 55 gallon drum and throw the leaves through and like a leaf blender. Weed whacker. I guess it's more like a weed whacker. Okay, that's two. I'm gonna have to grab. Oh, and as you and there we go. One bucket, two buckets, three buckets. And I'll let this go as long as everybody else lets theirs go. And then we'll count worms, I guess. All right. Sounds great. Okay, well, I gave it a little bit of thought. And after a couple of minutes, I decided that I should probably go and grab a scale and make sure that this is done by weight as well. Um, so as it turns out, one bucket of this is 11 pounds. Um, so I made sure that this bin was 16. And then this one is 21. Um, I make up the bedding in a little tumbler that I have here in the basement. Um, nice little dirt floor basement. Um, so I have my own little compost tumbler in the basement. So I probably had 50 or 60 pounds of this made up anyway. So luckily I didn't have to go and reinvent the wheel. But there we are. We're done by weight. And then... Uh, I guess I'll update in a week or so. 
I don't normally feed them, the African Nightcrawlers, a lot of table scraps. Normally I just let them do the bedding. But since uh, we kind of want them to hurry up, I'm probably going to go ahead and feed them some pureed food once a week. But I'll start next week with that. Alright guys, this is going to be fun!